Hey, Grogu, get out of there. You can't be eating those eggs. Give me that egg. No. No, you're not supposed to be eating them. Oh, this guy. He won't stay away from this thing. Are you hungry? Don't I feed you enough? Stay away from this thing. This is for the frog lady. If she catches you in here, she'll eat you. Hi guys, I'm Whitey from Whitey's Wicked Workshop. Today we have an extra special episode and this is all about the Frog Lady Egg Container Challenge. We got a group together, a bunch of cool guys. We got all kinds of things going on. We have prop builders, we have artists, we have diorama makers, and a couple that we think are gonna be, well, they're, they're pretty secretive right now, but we're thinking it's gonna be an extra special <laughs> surprise. Uh, no word on it yet, but we'll see today. So I want you to make sure you check out in my description and I will link all the videos who are participating in this challenge. I think it's a great thing. We're gonna have some really crazy stuff here. So let's check this out. So it all started when I was eyeing up my wife's mason jar there on the right. I put fabric softener in there to, to make it cloudy along with uh, blue dye. So I'm thinking that if I could cut one open and put a weight or something on the inside, I could get it to kind of linger. Depending on the weight size, I could get ones to linger further down towards the bottom. And I could have ones kind of linger towards the middle, hopefully. I tried all kinds of things. I tried putting a mixer down the bottom. I tried different eggs. The mixer looked good, but it didn't work because the balls were coming down and smacking the magnet out of the way. So that's a failure! Then I tried using gel beads to hover the eggs. So that's a failure! So I got sick of playing in the water and I figured I better start working on the actual egg container. Do or do not, there is no try. Let's do the project together. So I got this quick strap expansion tank mounting bracket and initially I just put EVA foam behind it it wasn't good enough don't forget the bloopers at the end so then I figure I better put some EVA foam behind it and make it look nice and try to protect the glass peanut lid for the bottom put a 15 foot LED light strip underneath perfect fit so then I started to work on the backpack portion of this I used regular conduit and a couple bolts, some unistrut. Then I started playing around with the front, different things. And all through this process, I'm just fooling around, grabbing different things off the shelf, some junk. I figure uh, I'm going to play around with this lid and at least get these straps put on it. Got them going. Most of it was just super glued together, except for the lid. And now I start to work on the cover for the control box. If you read the name badge, it says, Join the Rebels. <laughs> Sorry, Ron. And then I tried to get the look of the control box there, and I was happy. I 3D printed one like it. Uh, but here I am putting the digital badge upside down because I wanted to get a weird look. This is the EVA foam. Give it a little bit of texture with the Dremel tool. So then I finally found the box that I was happy with. I, I cut this hole in here because I wanted this out so I could recharge it and to have the switch outside. So I think I'm going to try and design this guy. As you can see, it kind of looks cool upside down. I'm going to try and design that guy to go there. I cut this off so it will fit inside the two clamps, their hose clamps. And then I did cut a bunch of holes so this will fit down inside here. You know, this like blade will go down inside kind of pinch that that'll go like that and then i have some greeblies there with probably this guy right here like that with 
this guy kind of on there. These greeblies here, and then I'm gonna do some uh, hose and yeah, maybe do some PVC pipe for like an exhaust type thing. So I, I put these EVA foam in the back, gave it a little bit of texture, ground it down. I'll, I'll probably get the hair dryer, not the hair dryer, but the, the heat gun. <laughs> Here's where the lights go in underneath. Come up, and the little controller thing here for the remote is there. And that's about it for this side. I think I'm going to stick with that. I made this on Tinkercad.com. Then I was playing around with uh, acrylic to see if I could get light through it. Until I finally got the look I was looking for. Here is the laser burning the outer portions of these guys. And I did multiple versions of that. The first set came out too skinny. And I needed them a little bit fatter. So they would look good. I was pretty happy with it. And here is what it looks like. I used the heat gun around here and it, it actually made it wavy. So don't do that. <laughs> So I played around with these lenses for a long time until I could fit them in the box and get the lighting correct with the LEDs. Um, I used a battery box and just tied in three LEDs. It's perfect for that. You buy the ones with the resistors already on them. There I am burning a hole for where the LED will go. Bunch of playing around, but I got it. So I pretty much super glued they sanded it first and then i super glued it to the metal i hope that it stays then i cut the heads off of like a screw and i put them on there so you could see there um and i had to bend this guy to to get it on because it's no but it it actually works good. You could buy these two pieces of trim uh, at your local hardware store. They're actually made to snap into each other. So I used the heat gun and, and I was able to make it soft enough to get it around the bend. Hey guys, if you want to just give me a quick tip, uh, help me out a little bit, buy me a coffee. The link is down in the description. Here we go, put on a couple of greeblies after everything with the control panel was done. Uh, I ended up taking the, that front part off because I wanted to paint and I didn't want that to get painted. Oh yeah. I think I'm happy with the PVC part and everything. Uh, I made a mess out of that box playing around so I had to cover up all of my crimes. I uh, used the trick with the EVA foam and the heat gun for texture really came out good it also helped with some of the light that was bleeding out from the cover copper coil two bender uh, i got a flare over there throw it out <laughs> if you're making props i'm using old coax cable here uh, and it fits perfectly use the fittings glue it all together no bending necessary Mod Podge. Good old Mod Podge. I thought that gluing these guys would give it the touch of a little bit of look of the original. It came out good. Right now I'm mimicking Punish props. Uh, what I seen when they were making a nuclear, uh, some kind of bomb. Like he was using Mod Podge on his foam and he was making a lot of like textury looking things. Just by the way he dabbed his... Uh, whatever he was using you know but it, it seemed to work out like really good so I'm I'm gonna try that see if we like it here so I tried super glue into the glass and eventually it did come loose hot glue is your best option for glass here I am painting I first uh, did the primer then gunmetal gray then black to kind of kind of weather it and then I use burnt umber and then black again to kind of weather and do the little sections. It, this is my first time airbrushing. It was great.
Okay guys, I really hope that you enjoy that episode. We put a lot of time and effort into this, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that like button and click the bell so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And you could be one of the first to view it. If you want to get sneak peeks and maybe even view videos ahead of time, participate in polls, stuff like that, join my Patreon page. Uh, sometimes I do things on just my regular Facebook page and Instagram, but check it out. I'm, I'm always posting on my uh, social media stuff, so check it out. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Peace. I'm like a layman's kind of guy because I'm half brain dead, but... <laughs> Hey guys, Whitey from Whitey's Wick. Maybe this could be your your first YouTube video. Someone is at the front door. At the front door. Great. And my wife walks really heavy, so she screwed that up too. Okay, so I guess I, I guess I've been a little bit. You know what I mean? Supposed to be over here kicking back a couple of, uh, what are they, Tauntaun Tiki's or <laughs> Tauntaun Tequila's. I don't know, man. <laughs> so I'm not sure I got it on videotape, but videotape. <laughs> wow. I am really uh, showing my age with that comment. Mm -hmm.